Hey guys, Carl and Dean here from EC Off Road. We're going to run you through our latest build, the Chop 200 with the works. So we had a customer come in with some pretty fine details, pretty particular what he wanted. We thought, right, we can do it, let's go. We got the car straight from Creative Conversions, stock as a rock, okay, we worked with GCI Trade Tech, worked with a few major companies, we've got the canopy on, full electrical package, heaps of pumps, winches, bars, lights. Let's run you through what we've done. This customer's owned a few CHOP 200s before, so this one he was pretty specific with what he wanted. Um, he wanted a decked out canopy, nice neat interior, including all his switches in one spot, um, front and rear lockers, and then good lighting all around. Guys, we're gonna run you through from front to back what we've done for this awesome, awesome build. Right, starting at the front, as you can see, aesthetically, it looks mint. We've done the full, full chrome delete, the two-tone in the grill. Okay, we've kept the same Toyota graphite with the satin black over the grill. Color-coded the TJM Adventurer bar, okay, which is a full, full bumper replacement. Looks mint. We've got the, the Runva winch, the Terraloom lights, the TJM bass plates underneath, EC off-road, four-inch snorkel. Let's have a look at what we've got under here, it's pretty special. EC off-road airbox by Fats. Okay, it's clear top, paper filter. You can check what's going on, it's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, got the pre-filter going on over there, fuses, all our fusing, everything's labelled. Now what we've got here is the twin Megalife lithiums in parallel, okay? So these batteries are pretty special. Again, it, it's sort of what he wanted to suit him. So a bit of an, uh, when he's remote, if he ever sends these flat, these batteries have got an inbuilt secondary batteries. They're basically four batteries here. Press the button, little emergency buttons on them and the car will start no matter what because they don't get touched. So the 8 amp reserve, 1600 crank amps, so pretty special bits of gear to get you out of trouble if you ever need some help. Sticking with the graphite and satin black theme, we've got the colour coded doors on the GCI canopy along with the custom fat bar sliders to suit the CHOP 200. We've got the clear view mirrors on the side which makes towing the van really easy along with the rhino rack on the top, the lighting package. When it comes to lighting, we've matched the Terraloom light bar on the, under the front of the rack to the front spotlights, as well as the side steady lights, which are awesome little work lights. So looking in this canopy, it's pretty empty, so you want heaps of storage. We've got the electrical package here, his fridge here, the slide out hot water. GCI Tradetech, they produce an awesome product. This thing is just finished off everywhere you look, perfect. There's lights in the toolbox, there's lights here, all central locking, hooked to the factory fob, ready to go for whatever he wants to do. Looking at closely at the electrical, okay guys, this car, like I said, we haven't stuck with any brands. We've just given him what he wanted, what's going to suit him, what's going to work. So again, we've got the lithiums under bonnet. They're hooked to what's called an Argo FET, which is splitting the alternator so we can get direct charge back to our 200 amp DCS behind the seat. Again, it's in the, can in the cab to save room. Wanted as much space in here as he could, so we've put it behind the seat along with the shunt and the cell fire to just make a bit more room in here for him. Looking at the package here, we've got the Anadrive 2 kilowatt with AC transfer, with a small Victron AC charger, the Victron solar reg, put the solar on top of the rooftop tent, okay? All running through the Cymarine, a couple of different shunts, the tank modules, we can, we can monitor the two water tanks, the headboard and the underwater tank. Okay, I think it's an 80 and a 60 litre. Always know what's going on. Individual switching, we've got two 40 volt outlets everywhere, 12 volt USBs, Andersons, all over it. So um, I think he's gonna be pretty happy with what we've come up with. As we've got this pump system, it's pretty complex. Gave him exactly what he wanted and it has worked a treat. We've got the wash down outlet here, which he can use via a pump for his shower that clips on at the back here. Okay, we've got a gravity fed drinking water tank from the front, so not running through any pumps or anything, just gravity fed for his drinking water. We've got an inlet and an outlet separate uh, sea flow salt water rated pump here. So the idea was he could uh, hook up to any sort of water source, whether it be the bucket, the ocean, a river, suck in and pump out to clean his fish, clean the car, whatever you want to do. We've got the air fitting out here, the manuals uh, overrides for the airbags, um, all your Andersons for the different trailers, your two caravan cameras for his van. Looking more at the rear of this awesome setup, we've got the rear trundle door, 150 deep, Okay, with the table, uh, super, super strong. That'll all slide in, all tucked away nicely. We've got the jerry can holder, the dual jerry. I think he's gonna use this as a bit of a rubbish bin when he's away. Clear visibility at the rear. We've got the camera hooked to our, on our safety Dave on his mirror for full-time view. 
of the rear. Reverse light, some extra blinkers for added safety. I'm gonna let Dean run you through this awesome product by Raxbrack for his shower. These awesome uh, Raxbrack setups makes the ensuite application really, really easy to do. Simply um, unclick those ones there. Oh yeah, I'll grab this for you. Get the little ensuite shower. This one's um, from Chaos Gear, the new Blue Ridge Aussie made canvas. Pop the ensuite on, lock it down, put in your locking tabs. And you've got a key underneath that you can securely lock that into place as well. So you could keep it on while you drive. Um, this customer's decided to put it in the back so he can see his rear view camera on the mirror at all times. Use this one once he's set up. Great little ensuite this one. Moving around the uh, passenger side of the canopy, check out these uh, side drawers. They're all central locking lights, they pull out. You can't lose anything, it's going to fall out, fully sealed. Bloody awesome bits of gear. Right, we've got his customer supplied his uh, old faithful fridge. It, it's, uh, it's a real beauty on the clear view drop down slide with the clip on table. We've got an ARB, the jack in there, some power there, GPO's 12 volt. Okay, we've got on the side, we have got the Clever Shade pull-out awning that goes right around the back. No poles needed. It's an awesome bit of gear, made in Brisbane. We've worked with the guys at Backstracks for the rooftop tent on the roof, fully automatic electric opening. We've got solar up there, inverter inside the tent, okay, lighting, 12 volt outlets, everything you need. Great advantage of a lot of these extended CHOP 200 series is they've got these little toolboxes here which is great for hiding little bits and pieces like this to keep it out of the canopy, utilising all that space. What we've got in this little side box here is his compressor, air controls, all the valving, everything we need. We've got the, the twin air lockers all digitally controlled by switches in the front, digital gauge for the rear airbags, the coil helpers, everything here nice and neat, you can get to it if he needs to. We've kept it out of the canopy again utilising as much storage as we can. Behind the seat here, we've got the 200 amp lithium by DCS with our EC off-road battery tray, some more shunts, some fusing. Keep it all out of the way. Okay, you can log into this via Bluetooth to monitor it if you need to. We've also got the Sire Marine, like we said before. We've also got the cell fire mounted here, which is a signal booster for Telstra with the aerial on the roof that flips up. It's gonna help when he's away remote to get reception. Inside the cabin, we've made it really, really simple to use everything he needs from the driver's seat. So you've got your UHF pass-through, um, you've got your compressor button, your airbag toggles up and down, um, front and rear diff locks all from the seating position, along with all your light bar switching, work lights, rear work lights, and so forth. So in this setup, we've used our EC off-road interface module, which has um, also got the second camera input for his caravan. We've also got the other two caravan cameras um, through the safety dave up on the top mirror. Interface module's also awesome for plugging your phone in, using things like Google Maps, Waze, everything that should be on these cruisers from factory. I've also got the stock lock trans lock up kit installed. So this is great when towing ca heavy caravans on the highway. You won't jump around looking for gears when you're in that sixth speed or fifth speed. You can override it, manually select it. I've also got the ultra gauge installed, which gives you a good overview of all um, different temperatures of different components, including your transmission, which is the um, probably number one factor while you're towing heavy loads. Righto guys, this, this thing looks amazing. It's been fully coded by the details team in-house at EC Off-Road full exterior of this vehicle, the Pompanazzi Real Quartz Coating. Underneath, it's a hand-applied, transparent TU rust proofing. It's gonna protect that underbody for the life of this car. This CHOP 200 has turned out a real treat. It's gonna handle whatever you can throw at it. The ultimate tour, the ultimate weekender, hook the van on and go, hook the boat on and go, you name it. If you wanna get anything built similar, guys, get in contact today. Give it up, Raider. Let it go.